What's up guys? Justin here with the renderingessentials.com back with another SketchUp and Lumion tutorial for you. So in today's video I wanted to talk about another one of the new features that was added in Lumion 10 which is the ability to cut out landscape objects using the landscape cutter. So this is actually probably one of the more helpful features that I've found in the newest version of Lumion. So um, basically what it does is it allows you to interface your model with the landscapes and the uh, terrain in a better way. So let's go ahead and jump into it and I'll talk about how you can use it. And so we're going to use a 3D warehouse example model in order to do this. So this is the Asian Contemporary Modern Resort Clubhouse from Fu Guang Li. Um, and I apologize if I pronounced that wrong. So if you want to find this and uh, download it to follow along, you can definitely do that. And so what I want to do is I haven't even done any setup in this model. I'm just going to take it straight into Lumion using Lumion Live Sync. So I'm just going to click on the button right here and uh, it's going to ask me to save my model first. And so we're going to go ahead and we're just going to click the play button on Live Sync and this is going to ask us to start Lumion. So I'm going to go ahead and click yes and I'm going to let this load up and then once this loads up it's going to ask me to select a template file. So that's just going to be the location that we want to drop this in or what we want the terrain around this to look like. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on new and we're just going to select the plane for right now just to make this simple or maybe I'll select the mountain range. I like the mountain range template. So we'll go ahead and bring this in and that's going to drop our model on top of the mountain range terrain. And so if we look at this there's a few things you're going to notice when you first bring this in. So the first thing you're going to notice if you take a close look at this is at the moment your grass is kind of showing through inside of the pool. So basically what's happening is this terrain plane that's in here is showing through. And sometimes you get the same thing inside of your building. Um, it looks like we're probably not doing that right now. Um, I think some guys recommend that you bring this in a little bit taller just to kind of avoid that. Or that's how you used to do things. Well now what's happened is Lumion has included a tool that allows you to cut out the landscape anywhere where your building is. So for example if we were to go into place mode and we were to click on utilities you're going to notice there's now an option in here for landscape cutter and so whenever you click on landscape cutter you can move your mouse over here and you can see how what's happening is anywhere where my mouse is now all of a sudden the landscape isn't showing through anymore so you can see how I can use this in order to basically cut out that Lumion landscape and so I think you're allowed to have up to two of these at one time so if I click on this um, and then click on the select button what this is going to allow me to do is this is going to allow me to adjust the size of this landscape cutter so in this situation if I only wanted this to cut out where the pool is I could adjust this landscape cutter like this. So and you can also move it around by clicking and moving on this center point. So you can either use one of these for the pool and then let's say you wanted to cut out the landscape over on the side somewhere you could add another one maybe over here. So and you can see how you get this red dotted area so that's if there's some kind of conflict in here so in this situation that red dotted area is just indicating that it's not really cutting out the landscape here because there's nothing else there and you just get like a weird thing off into nowhere. So what this will allow you to do though is this, is a, this will allow you to cut out that landscape area wherever you drag this box. So you know we've got some water in here well if we wanted to cut out our landscape area where that water is we could just drag this box over here. So this can be really helpful to keep the grass from growing up inside of your buildings out of your native terrain or to cut out things like pools just like this. So kind of a simple tutorial today, but I have found this to be one of the better utilities that they've added inside of Lumion. So it really makes it a lot easier to kind of interface your terrains and also anything you have below grade with the landscapes built into Lumion. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Do you like this feature? Are you liking Lumion 10? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.